for humanity. Imagine distant star systems with remote and hostile planets, teeming with alien life and civilizations. Worlds where adventure, danger, and the unknown are waiting to be discovered. We've created a universe that you will lose yourself in. A whole new galaxy for you to explore. against Nazis. Oh, okay. There Not are. animals? No. Oh, so okay, you only shoot bad guys. Uh, so where are we right now? You just, right. we're in a level. We are in, this is one of the earlier levels in Sniper Elite 3. It's not the very first one, but uh, your main mission here is to take out that massive railway gun that's parked on the viaduct over there. That's the primary objective in the level. There are multiple secondary objectives, and the level is entirely open to you to tackle any way you want. So uh, if you can see on the map here, we've actually started you actually quite close to the final objective. Uh, the actual start in the full game is like a long way down to the bottom left, so you can get some kind of idea of like how Huge it's a massive there. world. It is. Um, well, is there a reason that you guys had decided to make uh, bigger places like this? Uh, well, it's obviously, like, the bigger it is, the more opportunities for long-range uh, sniping. Oh, um, okay. And it's always been a big thing for us to try and, like, create uh, an experience where the player can play it any, any way they choose, uh, so you're not, like, funneled down a scripted linear experience oh, yes. active at any one time. Mm -hmm. So we've got genuinely emergent behavior. Um, and uh, uh -oh. Robbie uh -oh. is here, oh, here comes out. You're gonna get some of your infamous yeah. bullet time. Oh, oh. whoa, whoa! Oh, the what star. is that That's from the back? That's that, awesome. That is one of our new features. Uh, <laughs> new kill cam. That's our shrapnel kill cam. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. So one, of the, one of the big things with uh, Sniper Elite is you use your binoculars to tag your enemies so you can see them at distance, keep track of them. Uh, makes your life easier. You can use strategy. But what Robbie did there was he. Uh, he killed an officer, searched his body, found a duty roster, and that's auto-tagged a bunch of guys in this environment. Oh. A new oh, man. Sniper oh, I've been spotted. Spotted. Sniper up there. Yep. Okay. 
you going to take him out or are you going to uh, just hide? No, he's hiding from me. Well, as he should. He's no, he's, he's... Okay, I'm just like gone silent watching what Robbie's doing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, we got Tense. quiet because so, the game yeah. is gorgeous. Someone asked me once if I remembered how it all went down. As if it happened so long ago that anyone could forget. So yeah, I remember. I remember when our homes and our towns turned into graveyards. When the wilderness became our only hope for survival. I remember when the planes fell out of the skies. When the trains stopped running. When the turbines shut down and the world went dark. I remember when they put up the razor wire like it was gonna stop anything. When the feds ran out of body bags. And some of us sort of lost our minds. I think it's dead. take a stealthier approach. We can even call in reinforcements. It's really all up to the player. But in this playthrough, we've decided to use my favorite approach, which is going in a little quiet to kill Oscar and then fighting our way out. So we've killed Oscar Sabato, which is a major blow to lose cash flow, and will eventually put him into hot water with his brother Sal. But now we need to get the hell out of here. You see that fucker? Here, you can see that one of Oscar's guys has made it to a phone and called in reinforcements. Fortunately, the player can call in a favor of his own from Vito, muscle to bust some heads. I need Vito shooters here in the war. I override one of those, that should do.
jumping now! that rock. I think it's gonna be too tight. Just go. Just go. No, 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 no. You're gonna sink us. You're gonna sink us. Oh, I found the captain's quarters. This is mine. Mine. Okay, so the sail's blocking my vision, so you're gonna need to tell me where to steer. I'm looking at the water, Chad. Shut up. Guys. Guys. We gotta get up. Go. Go to the boat. Go to the boat. Oh, my God. Oh, oh no. Raise the anchor. Set the sail. You're leaving me behind. No. <laughs> Right on top! Oh, oh no! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Alright, man the cannon! They're shooting back! Nice! Nice! Ah! Oh, no! 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 Yeah! <laughs> okay, Mike, you're repairing, right? Uh, we're sinking. Oh, dude, it's, we're gonna drown! It's water down here! What do we do? What do we do? I don't know, bail, 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 bail. We're screwed. We sank up, yeah! Ah. <laughs> no! There's a ship to the left, to the left. Oh my god. They're going down, yeah! <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> 